This video in the Book Creator series will be how to collaborate on a ebook that is made through Book Creator. Now, one of the things about Book Creator that you should be aware of is you can't actually edit on it live time. So two or three kids cannot actually be on different iPads collaborating on the same one and seeing you know, the live changes that are happening. But there are uh, a, a different way that you can collaborate on this um, on a book, and we're going to show you that right now. So right now I'm in my Google Drive, and we just saw the smart idea as a school to create a shared folder that we are dropping all of our books into um, just so that teachers and, and staff members can find them. Um, so we're actually going to go to some books that our kindergarten students made. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, we have several books here about letters, like Letters Part 3, More Letters, um, just regular letters. And what we want to do is we want to let's download one of these. So you can hit Open In, Open In. And my book is exporting right now. And then there are several options for you to, to open in. We actually just want to copy it to Book Creator. And here is my letter book. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see, this, you know, these are just letters, you know, random letters that um, some of our kindergarten students made. But what we want to do right now, though, is one of the cool features about Book Creator, like I said, is the collaboration piece. So let's open this plus, and <clears throat> of course we can duplicate the book, which just means I'm creating an exact copy of the book we just had. But let's go back here. Let's do the plus again. Now, if I hit the combine books, now what I can do is I can select any book in my library and combine them. So let's say I had some students making letters A, B, C, and D, and I had another making E, F, G, and H, and they're two separate books. Well, actually, as a, the teacher or the student, I can just hit copy. I selected the book, and let's go in here and let's see if, yep, and as you can see at the top, there's a lot more pages in here. So what it did was it combined two different books into one. Very, very sweet. Um, another option you could do with, with combining books is obviously you could take two students' ideas and put them into one. Um, just a great way for you to, to showcase what other students are doing. Let's hit the plus button again. Um, the importing is, is basically if you had it through iTunes um, or iCloud, which, which I don't have right now. And then the last one is moving it to a bookshelf. And the bookshelf is just a really nice way for you to sort the books you've created. So right now I only have a school and all books. You can create a new book. So we could call this one, you know, grade level if, if you wanted to. Hit done. And then <clears throat> we are moving this book. And then to look at your bookshelves, you would just hit this arrow right here. And you can see I have 10 that I've deleted, one in my school and one in my kindergarten. And there is that book right there. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, listening to how to collaborate on a book through Book Creator. Bye.